Hi, I'm Jen Maleka, the Holistic Health Boss, your functional diagnostic health expert and practitioner, and I'm here to show you how to feel like your best self anywhere in the world and profile health setbacks after traveling so that you can travel like a health boss. Now, summer is in full swing, and if you're anything like me, then traveling is a big part of your life, whether it's for work, vacation, or both. So far, I've already hit England, Park City, and Maui with Palm Springs, La Paz, Boise, and New York coming up soon. As much as I love traveling, it used to wipe me out and set my health back but I know how to do it differently so that I can feel as good, if not better upon my return than when I left. You probably normally don't notice the true toll that traveling takes on your body because if it's work-related, you tend to see it as just a part of the job and so you continue to push through. Or maybe if it's vacation-related, well then it must be all good, right? Traveling is a type of stress we just don't typically address. Think about it though. How many times have you come home from a trip and maybe come down with the worst cold or flu that you've ever had, possibly felt extremely exhausted even if your trip was a vacation, maybe had a flare up of muscle or joint, a joint aches and pains, possibly struggled to get your sleep back on track, notice that maybe your weight shot up or experienced a relapse in your autoimmune systems, anxiety, skin breakouts, or other health issues. These are all signs of the stress your body experiences while traveling. Don't get me wrong, I love traveling like I said, and I would never give it up. But over the years, I noticed the toll that it took on my body too, and the proactive things that I could do to prevent a health set setback that I'm actually going to be sharing with you. Stress is anything that places a burden on your body resulting in inflammation, which then leads to any of the health issues you might be encountering. Stressors can include the foods that you're eating that maybe aren't right for your body, getting inadequate sleep, over or under exercising, emotional or physical stress, toxins that you encounter, and hidden stressors such as parasites, bacteria, or yeast overgrowth in the gut, hormone imbalances, liver congestion, and much more. The not so obvious but typical types of stressors you encounter while traveling are things like having fewer options for food and water quality, not so supportive beds or environments that negatively impact your sleep quality, sitting for prolonged periods of time or getting less movement in general, dehydration from flying or not being in your normal routine, crossing time zones and messing with your natural hormone balance and an abundance of to toxins that are circulating the air in the airports, hotels, and other places that you might be visiting. These stressors can add up quickly while traveling. As your stress load increases, it can suppress your immune system, making you more susceptible to getting sick, sick, disrupting your natural hormone balance, which drains your energy and mood, overloading your liver, causing a backup of toxins in your body, and destroying your gut, resulting in digestive upset. You may not have a complete control over these travel time stressors, but you can reduce their impact on your body when you take the right steps. So that's why in this video, I wanna share with you my top health travel tips to help you feel your best no matter where you are in the world and prevent those health setbacks when you get back from traveling. As you can see my, here, my wall is a collection of my favorite places that I've actually traveled to. So let's talk a little bit more about this. In the game of living a healthy life, the key is to your success is not living in a bubble and avoiding all the unhealthy things, but the trick is learning to navigate life differently so your body and health are more supported. As I already pointed out, there are quite a few types of stressors 
you are typically running into while traveling. Some might be within your control and some might not be within your control. So instead of stressing about finding the perfect place, food and toxin free environments while traveling, here are some of the simple steps that I take and that you can take too in order to proactively support your body and prevent health setbacks. One relates to prioritizing food and water. Now, this is where you can make um, eating gluten and dairy free your number one priority to reduce inflammatory food factors. The second thing here is to increase your water intake one day before traveling and while traveling to prevent dehydration. And the third part is to be mindful of your alcohol intake. If you're tired or jet lagged, opt for a mocktail instead. The next category is around sleeping soundly. Set your room to 68 degrees for optimal sleep temperature. Two is to cover all ambient lights such as alarm clocks and smoke alarms and tightly seal curtains shut. My ninja trick here is to pack electrical tape to cover smoke alarm lights and place pillows against the curtains to seal the cracks. And the third part here is to get sunlight exposure upon waking up to balance your circadian rhythm. The next category is about reducing physical stress. One is to stretch, stretch, stretch daily and intermittently on the plane for prolonged flights. Two is to opt for less intense exercise, such as walking or yoga. And the third action here is to schedule a massage, acupuncture, and or chiropractic adjustment within one day of returning home. The next category is about decompressing and revitalizing. One is that you can pack lavender essential oils to use any time you need to unwind throughout your trip. Two is to start and or end your day with a cycle of deep breaths, meditation, or journaling. And the third action you can take here is to schedule something, some type of spa or book a massage to relax and restore your body. Now the last piece is to tone down toxins. You can pack a travel size salt lamp like I do to help purify the air and reduce allergens in your room. Two, drink purified bottle, bottled water only. Grab Life Water, Fiji, or Essentia brand bottle. Um, and opt for glass bottled water such as Pellegrino and restaurants whenever you can. And then three is to get in touch with nature. Open the windows when possible, get outside daily, and even put your bare feet in the grass or dirt or sand to offset toxin exposure. I love helping my coaching clients learn how to navigate life differently so they can enjoy traveling and have their ideal health and weight at the same time time. So if you're a busy health-minded professional who travels a ton and wants to learn how to support your body better while doing it, then make sure you follow me closely over on Instagram to catch all of my travel tips with my upcoming trips. Now, I hope you found this video incredibly insightful. I'll see you in the next video.